who here is already thinking about moving out of your parents' home as soon as you turn 18? I'm thinking about it's 16. Like, I'm, I'm out of here after high school. Y'all can get it. Y'all can, you know, you ready to just like slap your mama upside the head with the your, uh, termination papers. Like, <laughs> I'm not even my parent anymore, right? So, uh, one of the things that I do is I teach you all the things you need to know so that when you do leave like that, you never have to go back, right? <laughs> Sometimes we burn those bridges and then we need those same people and it doesn't work out for us very well. So, my goal is to make sure you know everything you should know. So that's what I do in a nutshell. Um, I know that was a really condensed version, but you have my um, speaker sheet, so if you want to go through that after we're done. Now, I will say this. Um, I have two companies, Village of Truth, which is a nonprofit, and Lead Hership Academy, which is a for-profit. They both do very similar things um, with different degrees, um, just for teenage girls. But one of the things I love about Career Day is um, people come in and they tell you what they do, but they never help you get to what you want to do. Right? So, um, I think they might move over. The scope is right there. Oh my God. I'm sorry. Sorry. Um, so, tell me what is your career, and I'm going to help you build a map to get to it. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. So, who wants to volunteer and tell me what they want to do? Yes. Um, I want to be a business, I want to be an entrepreneur. You want to be an entrepreneur? Yeah. How often, how long do you sleep at night? Uh, not very often. I mean, well, I, I'm a student athlete, so I have a lot of homework to do, so not that much. Okay, so if you are already used to not getting sleep, that is going to be <laughs> that is definitely step one to being an entrepreneur. You have to be willing to be uncomfortable. And uncomfortable means sometimes when my daughter goes with her dad on a Thursday night, I'm up from Thursday night to Saturday or, or Sunday around midnight, and then I sleep for a couple hours before she comes home. Like, it could, literally, no sleep, coffee, some gangster rap, and I'm on the point. <laughs> and the reason why is because I'm constantly building, I'm constantly reinventing something. Um, when it, you reach a level of success, you have to be willing to grow even more and go to your next level, and there's nothing that can stop you. When you're an entrepreneur, a lot of businesses fold in the first five years, meaning that they are no longer in business because it's a lot of work. It is a lot easier to work a nine to five job. Being an entrepreneur means that you don't get to go turn up. It means that your Saturday night turn up looks like a computer, maybe some Cheeto puffs for me, and like I'm on it, right? And I'm creating it, or I'm talking to a client. I was um, talking to a client the other day. She's doing um, a conference in a couple of weeks, and I was just like, okay. We got to get your ticket sales up. We got to build this. And this was impromptu. I didn't plan on spending this time, but it was necessary because this is how we get to the next level, right? Now, when her event is a success, what does she do? She tells people, my coach helped me, which means that I have more people going, hey, can you help me? Which means that I can charge more or I can um, help more people and have a steady income of client-based people. Now, because I have a two-year-old daughter, it's a little difficult for me to want to do a nine to five. Like I want to be able to spend time with her, I want to be able to make my dreams come true, and then I want to be able to chill sometimes, right? And my crash might come at two in the afternoon, but if I'm working from eight to five, and then I'm a mom from five to 10, and then I'm trying to be an entrepreneur, it can, it, it's, it can be done, don't get me wrong, but it can be difficult. So I like to set my life up to where you know, the four hour work week is a or four hour work day is a real life thing for me. So what else who else wants to do something? Yes. I want to become a doctor or a surgeon. A doctor or a surgeon. Okay, so let me ask you this. How much volunteering are you doing in hospitals? Not much. Not much? Change that. Everything that you want to do in life has a component that you can start right now. You do not have to wait. Okay? So if you want to be a doctor or a surgeon or an entrepreneur, I'm gonna tell you guys this with this school, are you guys going to the college campus to get uh, more credits? Like they have that, um, the parallel where you can graduate from high school with your A <coughs> degree? Do you know about that? Mm -mm. Okay. Go talk to your counselor and just say, listen, I'm on a career path. I don't have time to be playing with y'all. I need, <laughs> don't snap your finger at her. I'm like, this is my tempo, right? <laughs> I need to figure out how I can have two years cut off of my school time. Now, that might mean that you have to dive into your school time now, but when you are 
from kindergarten to 12th grade, you can take you can take um, classes on a college campus in LA County and have it count toward your college degree. So while you're in high school, you could be taking that math class. Whatever subject you excel in, go ahead and start moving on into the college campus with it so that you can get those college credits. If English is not your strong suit, you may want to finish up and figure out like some more basics in high school because college papers are a whole lot different. But if you can start now, right, but again, it means less time with your boyfriend or girlfriend, it means less time with your homies, it means less time hanging with your girls, it means that you have to work. So think about what your end game is if you want to be a doctor at what age? At 25? So you're going to have to work. Especially if you want to be a surgeon because you got residency and everything else. There's a lot of work to do. And so even if you have to change the age, you still want to be working toward the goal. Does that make sense? Okay, so you want to make sure that you're doing good in your science and math classes and your English classes. You want to make sure that you are learning how to um, speed read, um, that you are really good at comprehension.